This is the all new Universal Sword Track by Evolution. Available with a bunch of optional accessories and compatible with pretty much every saw worth mentioning. In this video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about these new tracks, as well as putting them and all of the accessories to test to allow you to decide whether this is the right buy for you. So Evolution's new tracks are available in two different sizes. The size that I've got here is the 2.8 meter tracks, which comes in two separate parts. So each one of these is 1.4 meters long. Now, both of these tracks are made exactly the same way. They are solid cast aluminium. There's some felt on the bottom to prevent this moving around when you're actually making your cut. And there's two channels for the all new self aligning bars to slot into. So when you position these together, you know that you're going to get a perfectly straight line. You're also going to get two clamps that have been redesigned since the previous versions of these. These now have a little bit of rubber on the ends just to prevent your material being damaged when you do actually clamp this. You also get an included Allen key that can be used to actually tighten up that connecting bar on the tracks. And it comes in a little holder just to make it a little bit less likely to be lost. And you will also get yourself one of these carry bags which can be used to store everything in when you're moving this around. Oh, and I nearly forgot to say that throughout this video, I'm going to be testing these tracks with this Evolution cordless circular saw. I will be doing a separate review on this in a few weeks time. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that. And I do have to say that the build quality of these tracks is very good. I do consider this a step up from the tracks that Evolution offered before this. And just a note on that, these tracks aren't compatible with their previous tracks. So if you did own, say, the 1.4 meter length of their old track, they will not actually work together. Now, when it comes to actually connecting these tracks together, you are going to want to locate the alignment bar here and make sure that the four connections here are all turned so that the small arrows on them are parallel with the direction of that bar. If it is, then you can slide it and you want to align this red line here so that it is centered with the join. You can then spin the little black connections here to either direction. As long as they are tightened up in one or the other direction, that is enough to actually keep this tight. You can then flip it upside down and do exactly the same thing with the connection bar that sits on the underside of these tracks. And after you've done that, you then have one full length 2.8 meter long track that can be used and this is going to be plenty long enough to cut down a full length of board that is 2.4 meters long that's even going to give you enough for a good bit of clearance on either end as well and one of the really nice things about having the connection bars on the top and underneath these tracks is that you avoid that sag that you can get on tracks from the top which does make you a little bit scared to hold them whereas this does feel quite a bit stronger as a connection compared to other tracks that I have used. And then when it comes to dismantling them, you basically just do exactly the same thing, but in reverse. And using these clamps is also very easy. Let me show you how that works. I just need something to cut. I can simply just lay on one or both tracks, depending on the length of what you're cutting. You can then slide into the channel that is on the underside, this clamp, and then tighten it up. And you can see that that isn't going to go anywhere. If you've used a track saw before, you probably know this. But for those that haven't, I did want to show you that if you don't have the track ending exactly where your material does, you can still use these clamps because they allow you to push them right under to where that material is. And once you've got it pushed up, you can then tighten this up right where it is. And that again, will just prevent that moving around. And with both of those set up, you can then put on your track saw, make your cut. And one of the beauties about using a track saw is it's going to give you a cut that is as straight as what you can achieve on a table saw. And I would consider every single cut that I've made to be perfectly straight. But yeah, these work well. One of the biggest changes that Evolution have made to its latest saw track is the compatibility that it has with other saws. These tracks are compatible with Festool, Makita, Triton, McAllister, Hosman, Excel, Bosch, Titan, Mafel, Aruba, Metabo, Hakoti, Craig, and of course, 
evolution themselves. And because of that, this does have the big benefit that even if you aren't the biggest fan of evolution tools, you can still pick yourself up one of these tracks and use them with your favorite saw. One of the other nice things about this track saw is the optional accessories that you can pick up. And starting us off, I'm gonna show you this small adjustable stop end. This end stop can be attached anywhere on the guide rail, guaranteeing precision for repetitive sawing and routine tasks. And this little thing here will set you back 9.99, which I think is quite expensive. But if you're the type of person that does need to make these sort of repeated stop cuts along the track saw, then you're probably gonna have to pick one up. And it's nice that it is available. You can also get yourself one of these hose guides. The hose guide can be attached directly to the end of your tracks and allows you to stop wrestling with tangled hoses and frayed cables. This innovative system effortlessly guides your hoses and cables along a smooth gliding rail eliminating those frustrating snags and i actually really like this i think for 9.99 this should be a pickup for anyone looking to buy themselves a set of tracks and i've got some good news for my subscribers here if you do pick yourselves up one of these new universal saw tracks from evolution's website you can receive this hose guide for absolutely free by using discount code summary g2h when you get to the checkout you can thank me later and the last accessory that is available for these tracks is this track square. And the way that this works is you simply hook it underneath your tracks. And this is actually slightly magnetic. So that is just hovering in place there just by itself. But for that extra layer of security, it also comes with this clamp that can be used to secure it into place. And with that butted up there, I now know that this cut is going to be a perfect 90 degrees from this straight edge here. Because of the way that this actually attaches, you can still use it with the clamp on one end and that's not going to get in its way. And I actually think that this is a brilliant accessory. This will set you back 59 pounds and 99 pence. I do think the build quality does justify the price that you're paying. This is cast aluminium that has been created on a CNC machine to make sure that it is accurate. <laughs> The last thing I want to focus on is price. The length of tracks that I have here are the 2.8 meter length or two pieces that are both 1.4 meters. If you wanted to pick these up, then it's gonna set you back 99 pounds and 99 pence. If these tracks are a little bit long for you, then they do sell a slightly shorter version, which is made up of two lengths of 70 centimeters, giving you a total length of 1.4 meters. That one's going to set you back 69 pounds 99. And with all of that being said, now it's time for the big question. Do I think that these tracks are worth the money? Well, considering that here, 100 pounds is going to buy you two tracks where most competitors will just offer you one. You're getting the multi-brand compatibility, self-aligning connection bars, quick adjust clamps, and the carry bag, then yes, I can confidently recommend that these tracks are worth the money. And you will instantly start noticing the benefit, especially if you've not used tracks on your circular saw before. But that's just my opinion. Please let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Consider subscribing. And if you want to see me review that Evolution circular saw, then click here next. And until next time, happy building.